Tonight, major changes coming from Florida's biggest health insurance company, all new at six. ABC Action News anchor Paul Legrone here with what Florida Blue is now refusing to cover. Paul? Yeah, that's right, Wendy. It's the battle of the pills. First, Cigna, and now Florida Blue refusing to cover the powerful pain medication Oxycontin. Tonight, Florida's opioid crisis getting pushback from big insurance. Florida Blue, the state's largest insurer, announcing it will stop covering Oxycontin starting in January. Instead, they'll cover this, Extempsa ER, an extended release medication, which Florida Blue claims is harder to abuse because the pills can't be crushed. Uh, is that the answer to addiction? That's absolutely not the answer. But Robin Piper with Turning Point of Tampa says no drug is abuse proof and the insurance companies don't know how far addicts will go. We have clients, we have employees who can tell you exactly how to do it. They've already figured out how to abuse that drug. Do you think this is more about money? I think it's always about money when it comes to the insurance companies. They're trying to limit their exposure for how much money they spend on the drugs, absolutely. Mark Minardi, also of Turning Point, who successfully battled addiction himself, says insurance companies are missing the point. Drug dealers don't have insurance. My dealer probably doesn't have that insurance and he probably doesn't care. And I'm probably gonna be able to find those pills wherever I wanna find them. What is it about addiction that people don't understand? Treatment is the only thing that helps addiction. That's it. Is there light at the end of the tunnel here? I think there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, I think it's gotten a little bit better, but people are still dying every day. They're, they're dying every day. And of course, she's right about that. Oxycodone overdoses killed 2,500 people in the state of Florida in 2015, and thousands more have died since.